What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dale, and this video for you, I have my Evil Eye deck profile update. Um, it's not much different to how it kind of looked like um, a few months ago, but this is what I was thinking about bringing with me to the WCQ in Los Angeles. Uh, I probably wouldn't have done well against all the, <laughs> the Snake Eye decks out there, but you know, we gotta go eye to eye, we gotta see each other eye to eye. Uh, that's what I was thinking about doing every time I played against a Fire King slash uh, Snake Eyes player. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Again, it's going to be so quick because uh, not much has changed, but I'll just talk about it a little bit. Serzil, still at three. He's like the best uh, normal summon and can get play started. Two of the Basil Trees, which is just helps Wombo Combo and whatnot. So good. Two of the um, Basilius. Now, if you want to bump this up to three, or any of these to three, you can remove the next two. But I'm still playing one Koto Plabus, just because, you know, I just like it. And one of the Medusa. Again, these aren't necessary. I just like playing them for fun. Um, but they're easily removed if you want to add two more of these, because this helps you more with linking on your opponent's turn and just, you know, like trying to get through, like trying to get interruptions in. And this is good for if you don't get Serzio or whatever, you can still start some plays uh, if you have, you know, some dead evil like cards in hand. Three Ash Blossoms. So, yeah, that's it for the monster lineup. Uh, also, you can take these two out for like um, Effect Veiler if you want. But, yeah. Or whatever you want to side into, really. Three of the Paradolia, the field card for the deck. Really good. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this gets a foil print, but Evil Eyes Unleashed. Super good to get your value going off. I'm still doing two Selene for right now. Two Selene and two Gorgonio. I think two and two is fine, but I have seen, and sometimes I do think about bumping this up to three, um, just because to get into more stuff. One Awakening, just the one, um, you know, and one Confrontation, just for whatever back rows are problematic. I'm still doing the three Duality and two Extravagant Split, which what makes my extra deck super simple. Makes the play super simple, I'm just digging here. Um, still running two Book of Moon. I like the two Book of Moon. It's fine. Like I said, against special summon monsters, they're still special, considered special summon even face down and it helps me, uh, just play through things. Terraforming to help search for Pareidolia. Last but not least, Call by the Grave to hit any pesky hand traps that try to stop us from searching. We got one Retribution, just right here. And one Defeat. Two ice, um, ice Dragons Prisons, again, you could remove these two. Any combination of things if you want to add different hand traps, board breakers, or whatever you want. But for some reason, I really like that. I like just taking stuff and banishing, and then sometimes it, it does help, <laughs> for me at least. And then three infinite imperms, just to hit certain things. Again, another hand trap disruption type thing. For the extra deck, uh, very simple, very, very simple lineup you've seen, but the three Gorgon, three Xerzeal, the IP Nightmare Unicorn, and Unchained Abomination little package right here, and then three DDD Stone King Darius to get into the Divisor King Deus Machina, Deus Machina X. Um, just very simple. Obviously, we're playing... Um, extravagant so if we banish things randomly from our extra deck we're just trying to make sure that we keep at least one or two copies of something in there uh, when we go into our combo so yeah for the side deck what I was thinking about just playing was the you know shifter because shifter is just kind of good against snake eyes if you want to put it against like into the main again another thing you can do is just take out you can just switch ice dragon's prison mirror and then maybe like medusa or whatever 
three. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Two Lightning Storm and Harpies to take care of the back row if we need to. Because obviously Cersei uh, can just take care of special summon monsters. So we're not too afraid of the like monsters, but back row to get things done is good. Three Dimensional Barrier help stop plays if anything if we know our opponent you know we're going second and we know our opponent or if we're going first i'm sorry and we know our opponent is gonna just like has one of those main strategies we can hopefully shut them down and then three evenly matched two again board breaker card helps with some sort of matchups and everything so that's just another quick profile for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know down below what you think uh all right thanks for watching peace